Hello boys and girls, welcome to another installment of the series MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Hey, um, I'm going to show you something uh, in this installment which is kind of useful, which is how to remove the starter. If you've never done it before, it can be a little bit mysterious. There's really nothing to it. But I want to start by showing you one of the two mounting bolts for the starter and the location for this bolt is on the bell housing side okay, and it's right here okay so I hope you've seen where it is I've got everything out of the way so you can see where this bolt is and uh, the reason this is important the location of this bolt is you have to reach up from under the car to undo this bolt and you do it semi blind that is you cannot put your eye on this bolt when you're doing it so it's good to know where it is in fact the BGB the uh, shop manual or repair manual for the car has a drawing that shows <laughs> just exactly what I'm showing you now which is the location of this bolt because again you have to reach up from under the car with your ratchet wrench and put the socket onto this bolt without actually being able to see it. Uh, I've already broken this loose, there's a bolt loose, so I'm gonna remove it. Alright, I'm just gonna remove it, there it's out. And now we can go under the car and deal with the starter itself. We are under the car and we are going to look straight up between the um, firewall and the block and we're going to be looking straight at the starter. Okay, so we've removed the bolt that's on the bell housing side. This relieves one bolt that keeps the starter in place from the engine side. Before I undo this bolt, I'm just going to undo a couple of other things which are the oil pressure sensor connector, the starter solenoid connector, okay, and then the starter stud uh, has a nut that holds the starter connector onto it, so we undo that, okay, so the starter is free now, um, I've already broken it loose, so let me see if I can undo this bolt. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Hard to do this while holding the camera, but it's almost out. It's a long bolt with a lot of threads, it takes a lot of turns, and we finally so we finally have the bolt out, we'll remove it. And now to get the starter out, it's just like delivering a baby. You have to wiggle it around a little bit, turn it, orient it the right way until it's ready to come out. Okay, so easy as pie there's nothing to it now I'm going to look up behind the starter it's something that could be interesting for future reference we can see up here where is it? the location of the knock sensor All right so the knock sensor connector is right here knock sensor is uh, threaded into the block if you wanted to do some modification or anything with your knock sensor you would have to remove the starter first just like we did so there You've seen it here first, how to remove the starter from your MR2 Spider. Hope this is useful.